So we're gonna demonstrate how to uncouple and couple the truck and trailer. There's four things you have to tell the examiner before you start this process. There's no sequence, but the first thing you should tell the examiner and make sure that your truck and trailer brakes are applied. So we're gonna go and we're gonna say, make sure they're applied. So this is your truck to brake, make sure it's out. This is your trailer brake, make sure it's out. The truck's already neutral. Truck and trailer is parked at a safe, secure, and level location. Trailer wheels are chalked. So, always place one in here and one in here. So, that's three things. We're going to make sure the ground. level and secure so we already said four things now we're gonna bring the blending gear down this one has two gears has a high figure out which way it goes down and you got the low take a look at here so there's no space between the fifth wheel and the upper copper plate which means the trailers are the proper height come up this way we we'll disconnect the line up disconnect the uh, service line the electrical pull it up like this and pull it from here now we're gonna secure the lines My lines are secure. I pull the release lever out. Release lever is in the open position. Come on in here. The jaws are open. As you can see, the jaws are open, and we're gonna go out. Now we're gonna put the tractor forward. You can use that window. You don't need to use the seatbelt on. the big wheel so my trailer is free from the uh, big wheel or you can say my king thing which means the trailer is stable and secure now the examiner will tell you which way to go whether to the left to the right so let's go to the left Secure, the electrical secure, the line is not damaged, 
Check the electrical, make sure it's not corroded. No cross wires, no loose wires. My supply line, line is good, the seal is good. No, this is my service line, sorry. This is my uh, supply line. The seal is no damage. Line is good, the line. Now I'm gonna check the fasteners and the coupler. The fasteners. Not loose, this is broken, thing is not damaged, so it's not free, no extra plane, no debris, pitch and grease. Always lights are working. Copper fasteners, they're not loose, pitch and damage or broken, the thing is not damaged, pitch and grease. There's no debris underneath. So now, I'm gonna back it up. I'm gonna tell the examiner my way is clear. You have to use the city horn only one time. You can go forward up to five times. If in the test you go forward more than four, five times, that will be an automatic disqualification, okay? as long as you don't go all the way in. So now there's five things we're gonna inspect. First thing, we're gonna see that the king pin is lined up with the fifth wheel. If in the test it's not lined up 100%, that's okay, you might lose a mark, but it's hard to get it 100%, and that's good enough. So that's one thing. Secondly, we're gonna make sure the king pin has enough grease, it's not cracked. This is your upper copper plate. Make sure it's not damaged, not sufficient grease. That's three things. Now we're gonna go outside. And we're going to make sure the trailer is at the proper height. Now we're gonna check the uh, flat hand couplers. So these are the couplers, the seals. This is for the supply. The seal's good, it's not damaged. This is for the service, seal's good, not damaged. This is the electrical, it's not damaged. So now we're ready to back up. We're gonna hit it all the way to hit the click and then we're gonna tag it to make sure it's secure. that there is no space so this is the upper copper plate and that's your fifth wheel there is no space and this is the release lever that is in the lock position so you have to say there is no space in between the fifth wheel and the release levers in the lock position come underneath and now you see that the jaws are locked around the king pin come outside again now you're gonna tell the examiner my jaws are locked my team pin. There is no sequence and which one you wanna hook up first. I like to do the electrical first. Make sure this clip here, lift this up, and it goes straight like this. And it goes all the way in. Straight. Your uh, service, when you hook it, come up like this, and then. 
make sure you hit it hard. The supply. So the lines are secure, the legs were secure. Push it all the way in. sure that the pressure is above 90 psi. So you can come up. So you have the following. So my pressure psi is over 90. You have the truck. Volvos you have to bring the key back on. And you're gonna hear that that's your ABS system. So my pressure is over 90 psi or a normal operating wrench. I'm pushing in the trailer supply. So now I'm checking there's no leaks through the supply. I'm listening and I do not hear any leaks. Now I'm stepping on the brakes. Hold it for about 10, 15 seconds. Monitor the gauges and listen. I don't hear any leaks through my service and my gauges did not move. Take the foot off the brake, pull out or apply your trailer brakes and listen outside the back. That is your trailer spring brakes working. So you're going to tell the examiner my trailer spring brake is working. Now. You're ready to go for the road. You will remove the wheel chocks and the examiner will re redirect you. Okay, I hope it works for you.